right? And that's like the, the breakthrough for me in the mm-hmm. sports industry because mm-hmm. I don't know if, if I was not opportunity to like get that capital from that mm-hmm. capital, probably I would have given up because the, there was no money. Mm-hmm. I couldn't steal money from my parents again. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So there was no way. But what has been your biggest gain in the markets? What like what's the biggest amount of money you made in one single day in the, in the forex market? I mean, that's Six thousand dollars. What single day? How many hours did you take? Uh, let's say because it was this trading because I do this trading more, mm. right? Well, let's say roughly like about two hours. Interesting. Jeff, what has been your biggest loss in the market? Biggest loss. Mm. Um, I think uh, I've done crazy. I think I've done. Um, I've done one ninety thousand twenty nineteen. He lost one ninety thousand dollars in two thousand and nineteen. It didn't stop you from trading. How did you feel after the loss? Yeah. I didn't more encourage, just looking for a way to get more money. So I can just you didn't think of committing suicide. Nothing like that. You you were not crying. Crying, no way. I didn't feel bad for like two weeks because you know whenever that major loss hit, you start making losses again. Mm-hmm. And I had other people who were connected to me mm-hmm. that were copying my trades that they also lost. So the instruction I gave to them not to fund more than two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Guess what? People that connected to other dollars were the people who dragged me more. Dead. What said to me was I wasn't taking any percentage from whatever I was making for them. Mm-hmm. We made money for a six month stretch, but one month messed up. So that was how. You lost this one ninety thousand dollars in the space of one month. Yeah, it happened in two days, right? Whoa. And so for someone who so you're going to talk to us. How did you bounce back from that loss? Okay, I have cold. Let me call first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So how I bounced back was okay. I, I started reading more uh, uh, financial books, and I focused more on trading book like Trading the Zone by Mark Douglas. Uh, I love the audio books. Coming in, you had different books. Yeah. Okay different book and i started focusing on a uh, trading psychology book by mm. mark douglas mm. trading the zone mm. he's also on youtube it's a very long one it's, i mean it's everything that every every trader should see that book but take notes of that book i started watching i started listening and started taking notes but i always knew that my problem was myself mm. so when i start shifting when we start shifting problem one thing i've always learned out about first year that we start shifting thing maybe one of to take a look oh it is the broker that money oh the market oh it is the market that i did this uh, oh it is that i did uh, you are the problem yes every time that you take a look yes. you take responsibility yes that's where you learn yes if you shift blame your mind is short yes start, because if you shift blame how are you even learning from that anyway okay. So that's how I just thought okay, I was a problem. I started noting what I did wrong. What I did wrong then was I was adding to losing position. position. Usually, I don't take more than three trades, right? I started adding more position. And then that was when uh, Theresa May, the third prime minister of UK, mm. re- uh, announced that by October, she's not able to deliver Brexit due to the people of United mm. Kingdom. Yeah, that's mm. she will be exiting. Yes, yes. GBP, USD kept tanking and I was buying. I kept adding position. I can't, uh, I can't buy. I can't buy. Buy the deep. I'm telling you, we're buying the deep. Buy the deep. Buy the deep. Oh my, the deep kept dipping. <laughs> we're the <starting> balance. <laughs> kept dipping, dipping. Like, it took me. Hard. It was the hardest year. We got to the point that I was down ten thousand dollars. All right. Oh, don't worry. To reverse. To reverse. Twenty k. No worry. To I like this. Twenty five. It to reverse. This thing went to forty k. Then when it got to fifty k, it flew back up again. So when it got back to ten k, to me that was like it's a win still. Mm. But it didn't close. Don't worry. To come back in profits. That was not 20k, another huge slab just came, minus 100k. The next day, everybody was already calling me, people that were connected, family, friends. What they said to me was, I wasn't charging them. They just said that I already told them, if I make money, you guys are going to make money. If I lose, you guys will lose. That would help too. So they all just connected to the PPS, connected to my own trading, but uh, my trading account, and then that was it. So I was already down at 190k, then my hand was just shaking. I just, to close, to close the trade is very hard. Yes. <laughs> To close a losing trade. To close a losing trade is very hard. And she's only when they lost. When it's lost, imagine. And, and, and you're looking at the loss like, bro, my man, I'll lose this time. But I just have to like close my, I started closing down, closing down, closing down. And I expressed that it's still on my Instagram today. Hmm. Yeah, that's 21st, 22nd of May, 2019. Hmm. Isn't it? Hmm. But now we have, we, we have made way more. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And so your bouncing back happened. Because you focused on yourself and you took the responsibility that you were the reason behind this. I want to ask Abby, 
what are the things that make forex traders lose money? Well, well there are common problem actually, or uh, let me say similar problem that happens to every trader, mm. right? One is um, the popular one that happens to everyone is having the same mindset, right? Now, everybody coming into the market has this mindset of they want to get money quick out, right? I used to be that person, mm. right? Uh, let me use myself as an example. I want to get money quick from the market. The moment you actually enter the market, like, uh, because I have one dollars, I want to make $1,000. Trust me, the money is gone. Mm. Right? Because... Get off school skin. Right? At that point, when you enter the market with that mindset, right, you're just going to do something you're not supposed to do. Mm. Right? And when you do it, the money is gone. Mm. Right? Another common problem that happens to every trader is um, lack of proper knowledge. Right? A lot of traders, especially newbies, even maybe not even newbies, like uh, people that have probably been in the game for a while, they don't get to like understand uh, the depths of the knowledge, right? Before you actually jump into the market. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, I like to, I mean, I'm kind of rational, right? I like to do things based on reason. Uh, that's just my philosophy. Mm -hmm. Now, for most of the traders, Right, I just I, I believe because I study philosophy in school, and I believe like for you to be successful in this thing, yeah, you have to be a rationalist, mm. right? Which means that uh, you need to always do something based on reasons. Mm. The best way you get knowledge is to actually find reasons to it. Now, like you said earlier, the problem is you. So whenever anything goes on in the market, the problem is you. Mm. I developed that mindset long time ago, mm. right? When you know the problem is you. You lost money now. The best thing is for you to what? Go back to that market. Don't complain. No, no emotion. Mm. Just find out what. What have I done wrong right mm. now? And when you find out what have I done wrong right now, make sure you try to correct that mistake mm. and try to sample this. Okay, this is what I've done wrong. Mm. That thing you've done wrong. By the time you see it next time on the chart, it's gonna be paying you mm. because what you've been able to sample. Okay, this is what I did wrong. Mm. But you can see next time because let me tell you chat is like replica mm. what happened today on the chat can be what is going to happen next week monday mm. Mm. All right. true. Yeah. true similar so, pattern true similar pattern right what's i've been in this game like so yes i can tell you like what's been happening yeah right you see what is happening today mm. that's kind of based on probably emphasis knowledge mm. right based on experience so yeah i can say if you're a newbie coming to the market you know, you've been in this market I can beat you based on experience, mm -hmm. right? But does it still mean that you might not be a better trader than me? Mm. Based on reasons, mm. right? Mm. Just be a rationalist in the market. Something is wrong. Do we do something on uh, based on reasons? Mm. And trust me, you're good, mm. right? You'll make mistakes, that's for sure. Like I tell people, traders, uh, especially my students, if you're taking like profit right now, I'm not expecting you to pass it one time. Mm. Right, I'm. I'm even gonna tell you ahead, right? You're realistic, yeah. Like I do give a lot of traders money to trade because I fund them, right? I'll tell you, if when they come back to me, I'm like, boss, I'm sorry, I lost this money. But I'll tell you, bro, I was already sitting down. I tell them, yeah, I was expecting you to lose it, right? Mm. Now I'll not sit you down, right? Sit down. Tell, show me the trades you've taken. Let me check your history, right? Then if we were able to like we were able to figure out okay this is the major reason he has he has lost this account I make sure I correct him and please don't do that again next time mm. then I'll give him like another trial I used to give like my traders people that I personally come to me for help mm. and I try it out like for, like three times the lot of traders have given me money right to trade you know but I know I've been in that that kind of situation let me give you like example now today I will come to my DM boss try me out i can flip your money mm. this is, trust me back then in the yes i used to be like that i will meet all these uh people that i think they have money online mm. boss spam people on their dm boss please try me out i can uh, i can i can make you money mm. they will never respond some will respond right mm. but like that so i can i give traders a lot of trial but i'm not expecting you to be successful at one, at, uh, at the first trial mm. right you're gonna make mistake mm. and another thing that kills us is this right psychology mm. before you go into psychology 
you mentioned something about funding traders. And I'm sure you guys are, as and then, when you guys got into the game, I'm sure you guys didn't have what you have now. And you guys are probably using a particular platform to now fund traders. How do you now fund traders now? What platform do you use to fund traders? So we have Consumer Trader. So it's a proprietary firm that we... What's the profit? firm? Profit is just simply a company that has a lot of money. And I say, okay, come and trade for us and then we'll get to share profit at the end of the day. Okay. Then the trader keeps the chunk of the money while the company keeps a tiny part of the money because we understand that the trader is doing the heavy lifting. Okay. That's for the profit. Yeah, that's But we have different kind of profits, yeah. right? That the people doing the otherwise. Okay. Right? But we are consumers. That's what says. So let, let me hear about consumer traders because I've seen the boss of consumer traders everywhere. Now, yeah. And regardless of 0.01, life advice, whatever you do, right? Yeah. They're probably under your parents or any other guidance and they're feeding you mm. right now. This is the best time to keep taking the risk, mm. right? And when you're taking the risk and something is coming to your pocket, be smart. Mm. Don't spend it yet, mm. right? Save up, invest, invest in yourself, okay. right? Invest in what you do more. And like that, you can not get to a state that you'll be like, you know, my guidance. Go for outside. If I let me let me add a story to you still that uh, that that what I'm telling you, like I love taking crazy risks. Imagine dropping out of school, you must have think that that's crazy. That's madness. Crazy. That is, <laughs> <laughs> Society will be against you, like I just want to back up plan and all that. I don't care about back up plan. Wow. Now, that's my style. You bust the bridge. Exactly. I just want rest. I'm not going back to this thing again. Damn. Look at it. I am a friend of mine that we grew up together. He believes he loves school. Cool. And then he finished school, then, then he already had a very good paying job, he was being paid 80k. I'm sure he will also be watching this video right now. <laughs> so, while he was going for that 80k job, then me, I was busy learning for it. Then I was zero, I don't earn anything, in fact I was losing crazy. So, the time came, then I was already making money. I bought my first car, that car, I didn't tell anybody, car, that's when I got another. How did you buy, how did you get money to buy this car? He was shocked, so I told him it was for it, I showed him what, now my brother is currently training today. Wow. From that shop, from that time that I bought. Wow. That car. Wow. So then this my guy, each time you see any successes, he gets motivated. So he went to meet his employer. He said, Oh guys, I want to quit. Do you know what the employers did? They increased the salary from one from 80k to 120k. Then do you know what? He stayed back again. Hmm, 120k, big amount of money, started working again. Then I was already making way more money than he was doing, but he didn't know. Then a time came again. I said, then he came to meet me. I said, if I were you, then that's when I'll be more crazy. I'll be more mad at him. Mm. So you guys could pay me this 120k all along. Are you going to pay me 80k? Then you know that you don't wait. Yeah, you should be more than that. Yeah. Exactly. I'll get mad. But then he kept doing it and all of that. I told him 2018, yeah, come and do this thing. 2019, 2020. Do you know what? Last two months ago, he's currently in forest. He quit his job. Wow. Because something he would have done way around the going his fears. He said, oh, yeah, you know, I've got a girlfriend. What if the mad come? How would I pay? I've got more, I've got this, I've got that. I said, now, you even have excuses to give. 
that I'm just asking for peace, leave me alone. Oh, you're not giving these excuses when you're thinking about this. You're thinking like grandpapa when you're just a young dude. Mm. That's why you should take risks. Mm. Now that he's not, he's not almost like trapped. He's not in the rat race. Mm. He goes to work, pay pills, stay at home, struggle. struggle like that. He kept doing that. But each time he get motivated, if you see me buy a new car, or buy a new house, he come with me, Jeff. Jeff, I'm tired of this life again. He come. And if you go to meet this company, they'll give you the raise. They'll add another 40k extra for him, 40,000 mm. naira. You go back again like that. So if you have taken risk earlier, and I'm not saying he can't still catch up, mm. but imagine what he would have done four, like three, three years ago. The time frame that I was telling him, guy, right now you can afford, like you can afford to lose, lose and lose again at that stage. Mm. Like right now, I can afford to lose. Imagine when you already having a wife. Mm. The chances of you afford to lose is tiny because you don't want to make someone else daughter to suffer. Mm. Imagine having a son, a, a children. It's crazy, yeah. You don't. No, nah, it's not even about you now anymore. It's not about your kids, your dependents. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean now? Yes. So when you're younger, they take oh, risks. Yes. Because if you can fail, that's the game. Mm. 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 I like the fact we are talking about failures here because so you don't make it look like failure is one scary thing you do. But we're rounding up this podcast now. But I want to ask, how do people learn from Jeff? How will they learn from Ab? Because I'm sure you guys should have something you use in teaching.